Hello, my name is Kyle Roberts. I am an artist and I go to Bucks County Community College. My work consists of George, my lamp, a ball of wood, a flat pack table, some birds, keys, bottle openers, and an arrowhead. Some things that I think about when I'm designing my Art is form over function, modularity, customization, efficiency, originality, whether it's kinetic or static, and the maintenance of the piece. This is George on the left side. He is a scrap metal robot with an articulating arm and head and a visor as well. The head can come off by just unscrewing it, the whole thing so that I can replace it or do maintenance, or if I want to swap it out with a different head, it looks cooler or something. Same thing with the arm of George, it can totally come off. And it's manipulated by that beam on the right side of him, that piece that goes up to his shoulder, that I can move up and down or back and forth. And the whole arm <laughs> will, will move, it's really cool. And that whole thing can also be totally taken apart because it's all just nuts and bolts. Along with the arm on the right side, the actual lamp arm. I like to call that a big Pixar lamp arm because that's what I think those lamps are. But that lamp can be totally taken apart. It has springs on there to keep it still so it doesn't flop over. It can be moved forward or backwards or rotated left and right. And it has a working lamp or light at the end of it. This is my hackadecagon or ball of wood. It is 20 sides and is about three feet tall. It's as tall as that chair and I can fit inside it and I'm six feet. so. When I was building it, I could fit inside, maybe not anymore. There's no doors to access anything on the inside. It's totally hollow, but it does weigh a couple pounds. And, um, but that one's really cool because it's zip stitched together, which is a technique of tying something, tying two pieces of wood together with zip ties, which is how that whole thing is being held together. This is my table that is, can be packed flat, so it's a pat flat pack table. It's a system or design that I built to store ta this table away in like a closet or, you know, maybe, you know, if you don't want it somewhere, you just take it apart and put it somewhere else. <laughs> just, you don't have to keep it. Or if, you know, if, it, if I went and had an apartment, I could bring it up there flat so it's not a pain in the butt to move and then assemble it and then disassemble it. It's really cool because the whole thing is very modular and customizable. So I can replace parts or swap out the things for different things, which also makes it easy to do maintenance on. These are my keys and birds. The key on the left is inspired by the video game Kingdom Hearts. Uh, in the shape of the key itself that would go into the lock. But the rest of it is made to look old, <laughs> like a, I don't know, early, I don't know what year keys were built, but around that time. It's made out of steel and given a force to heat patina. The birds on the right were also given a heat patina that was forced, but that was only because of the MIG welder that I used to assemble the birds because of the thinness of the metal for the wings and for the head and for the body and a little bit of the base they got a patina on their own they're really cool because i had to think about manufacturing and how small parts would go together from the bottom up or from the middle out because you can't build something on the outside um and then put something on the on the inside i could do that with legos but this is metal these are my tools or bottle openers on the left. They are made out of steel and paracord. 
and can be put onto a keychain. So they're around like the size of a thumb drive, of thing, a big thumb drive. They are built with a kind of camping inspiration in mind and a utility function. Uh, but they have a little bit of pop just to make them stand out a little bit more than, you know, I don't know, something. <laughs> I don't know, something that doesn't look like that. The airhead on the right is was my first bronze piece done with John Burns. And it's really special to me because it's kind of an homage to camping and Boy Scouts for me because I would go to Akinikin a lot, which is a Boy Scout camp, and they would have a lot of arrowheads there that you, would, you could collect. When I graduate Bucks County Community College, I want to get an internship at Seward Johnson Atelier, and I think I'm close to doing that. Uh, I would be working in their foundry or with maybe a particular artist to achieve what the goals would be for that larger work. Or I would like to work at a bike shop, repairing, fixing, and designing my own bikes. That is the end of my presentation. There are no questions that I can ask because this is a video. So I'm going to stop it here, but that's my portfolio presentation. I hope you enjoyed.